How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to a video that I haven't made in like a year and five months, a ridiculous amount of time and I'm not planning on making many of these but I think like every year and a bit it's not a bad idea to make one of these. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, welcome to the bank video. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna basically go through my bank, talk about some things, and yeah, should be a really, really good time. Uh, this is sort of like the aftermath of Araxa from scratch, now that I can use the GE again, which by the way has been absolutely blessed. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into the bank. Uh, the first tab is total junk, we're just gonna not even talk about it. It's just random junk, it's random crap, I didn't know where to put. Uh, so yeah, in the second tab, this is my PK tab, it is very disorganized, this is like the most disorganized tab in my bank, except for like the first tab. Uh, but I know where everything is, uh, but yeah, basically you just gotta have Vendrunes, you've got Rock Shell, you've got Bandos, you've got Darox, you've got just weapons, spec weapons, fun weapons like a Zami Godsword, uh, you've got some range gear, uh, Demon Slayer, Dark Bows, all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's, it's just PK stuff, and then all my glory's down here. Uh, now one thing about uh, this bank video, I'm gonna try and make it as quick as possible because I know like if I start rambling this video is gonna be 20 minutes long and no one wants to watch that, so the goal time is like 8 or 9 minutes. Uh, so yeah, anyway, into the next tab, this is my PK loot tab. Obviously there's like not much in it because I have not PK'd since Rax from Scratch ended. Uh, so yeah, the PK loot tab, pretty empty at the moment, but at some point there will be probably like 50, 100 mil worth of just random gear in here. Uh, because basically what happens is all the gear that I use will end up going back in this tab, and then all the gear that I don't use, like if I PK someone for like subjugation or something like that, it'll go into this tab. Alright guys, so this next tab is sort of like my random stuff, rarey, squeal of fortune, skill cape tab. Uh, so first off, you've got my KBD heads. I used to have like 10 of them, but I used to be really, really poor in this game. And what I actually did is I elked a bunch of them, because they elk for 30k each. Uh, fun fact, so you know, if you're ever running low on money, you got some KBD heads, elk those babies. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, so I got my KBD heads, uh, my KQ head, and then my abyssal head over here. Uh, this is the obsidian armor, it's just good for doing like fight kilns and stuff, I don't really use it. I got it at some point uh, before my first fight kiln ever, because I thought that I wouldn't be able to do a fight kiln. And I was really, really scared, so I was like, you know what, let's get the OB armor, and then that way, even if the jads hit me, I won't get one hit. Uh, because they give you damage reduction, as you can see, like 12%, 10%, 5%, 9%, 9%, uh, plate body gives 14%, etc. So like with the full set, you basically have like close to 50% damage reduction against Tazar, so it's kind of cool. Uh, now you got my lucky BGS, lucky Bando. Tassets and Lucky Armor Chain Skirt, that's nothing important. I got a crab hat, tradable, uh, a fan gave that to me uh, a while ago and I thought, you know, let's keep that, hang on to it. Uh, you got ferocious rings, you got my four big sharks, all these were from Araxa from scratch. I actually fished approximately 20,000 sharks on Araxa from scratch, so that's why I've got so many big sharks. Uh, now you've got uh, my Bando Soulstone. I got that on my first ever Bando's hard mode kill a couple years ago, which was really, really funny, and I haven't even been back since. Uh, and then over here you've got these things, these are used in ports uh, just to get like the tier 85 weapons uh, for magic and melee, not important. Uh, now you've got all of my skill capes and my combat S cape, 5 year cape, 10 year cape, and then yeah, these are just all my hooded skill capes, it's everything. I've got duplicates of a couple of them, I don't really know why. Uh, yeah, I'm almost maxed, I'm getting really close, I hopefully I'm going to be maxed in a couple months time uh, if I actually start training my skills. Uh, then after that we've got my cannon, fighter torso, ancient ceremonial, greater runic staff. I just use that for whenever I'm making an Iron Man guide. Uh, I like the greater runic staff because that's like the weapon that most Iron Men use. And then my barrows gloves which never get used at all. Uh, so yeah, anyway, on to the next tab. This is probably the coolest tab in my entire bank. You guys will understand why in just a second. Uh, might take me a couple of minutes to go over this tab. Here we go. Uh, so this is my gear tab. Uh, I am a huge fan of this tab. Uh, so at the top you've got all my weapons. You've got a passive Sarah God sword that's really good for AFKing stuff. I've got my Chaotic Spear for Corp. Uh, my Twin Blades, I don't really use these for much, uh, but sometimes for like certain videos or for PKing I'll use them once in a while. Uh, same with my Katana and Wakazashi. I uh, use those just once in a while. Uh, here are my Augmented Dragors. These are the main melee weapons I use. I don't have a Scythe at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I've got Equilibrium 2 and Precise 5 on them, I've got a Karassi, and then this is a Chaotic Splint. Uh, so this is used to turn my Corrupted Defender into like the next tier Defender, uh, which is I think the Chaotic Defender, but I can't even remember. Uh, but yeah, the next tier, the tier 80 Defender, so at some point I'll be using that Chaotic Splint. Uh, cost 100k tokens, and yeah, I have that. Uh, next, you've got my Nox Staff, haven't augmented it yet, I will at some point. Uh, you've got my Nox Bow, I've only got Precise 5 on there because I'm not sure uh, what the second perk I'm going to get is. I know the best perks, they're just kind of expensive, so I'm waiting for now. Uh, next up, you've got the famous Strike Bow, love this thing, it's great at a rack sort of switch to, it's great for tanking, and it's also great for PKing, so this is like one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. 
Uh, next, you got Augmented Crystal Staff, just a crystal bow that's for like when I want to go AFK Ascension creatures. Uh, next up, you got my Kibas. I don't really use these for anything, uh, but they're tier 85 from Ports, uh, just like the Katanas. I got some Death Lotus starts, and then like I said before, I've got my Corrupted Defender. Okay, now here are all my rings. I've got a Ring of Death, a Superior Leviathan Ring, those are the main ones, and then I've got some Imbued Rings uh, from Mobilizing Armies, because back in the day that minigame wasn't dead. I got my Ring of Vigor, love the Ring of Vigor. Uh, and then next up, I've got my Amulets, I got a Zealots, Demon Horn Necklace, Amulet of Souls, a Farsight Sniper Necklace, and then a Brawler's Blood Necklace. I don't really use anything other than uh, the Souls, and then I'll use the Demon Horn when I'm AFKing. Uh, blood Necklace, it's okay at Corp. Uh, that's like the one place where I'd use the Brawler's Blood Necklace. Uh, so now into some of my armor, I've got full Malev, full Superior Tetsu, and then full Torva for melee. I haven't augmented anything yet, but I will. Uh, you know, I just got my bank back two days ago, so I haven't really got down to augmenting things yet. Uh, next, I got my Kiln Capes, of course. Uh, Bone Crusher, I've got all the tier 90 shields. Uh, and then if you go down a row, uh, I've got, this is my range gear, I've got a Serenic Mask, I've got Augmented Anima Core, Body and Legs of Zamorak. I know Pernix is a little better, but, uh, you know, this stuff is super cheap, so I thought, you know, definitely get that and I'll use that for now. Uh, and then underneath that, I've got my Superior Death Lotus as well, which I might augment, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it or not. Uh, then over here, I've got all my gloves and stuff, obviously, Torva Gloves, Razorbacks, Ascension Grips, Swift Gloves, and then down here, Torva Boots. Virtus Boots, Glaven Boots, and then Pernix Boots. The reason I like Glaven Boots uh, over the Pernix Boots is a lot of the time when I want to be cheap and don't want to spend money on invention and augmented stuff, I'll go to God Wars and stuff in Void, like full ranged Void. Uh, so yeah, the extra defense bonus is really, really nice. It's a pretty significant difference uh, bump up from the Pernix Boots. So that's why I've got Glavens as well. And um, then down here, I've got my Superior Sea Singers. I've got a Reefwalker Cape, just some Dreadnips, Excalibur. Uh, all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Charming Imp. Uh, and then right at the bottom here, the last cool thing is I've got my full superior elite void. Uh, so yeah, this is the tab that's worth like the most in my bank. Obviously, this tab is probably worth like at least 400 mil uh, because you're basically getting close to like 350 mil just with these two items. And then yeah, you're at 400 mil just with the these three items. Uh, but yeah, this is the tab that's worth the most in my bank uh, by far. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to go on to the next tab. This is like sort of my supplying tab. Uh, so as you can see up here, we've got all my runes, I've got all my auras, I've got uh, the supreme uh, auras for all of the three combat styles, those are like the most frequent auras I use, I use them all the time, but of course I've got some other ones as well, vamp, penance, all that stuff. Uh, next, I've got my gizmos, these are the only ones that are like potentially useless, so I didn't want to get rid of, because sometimes, you know, if I'm augmenting something stupid for a video, you know, you might want devoted two, I've got devoted three on my, uh, on these guys down here, uh, Devoted 3 and Genocidal, so you know, Devoted 2, it's not great, but I thought, you know, may as well keep them along, I'm not gonna get rid of them. Uh, next, I've got my Frozen Key, I've got a bunch of sharks, of course, that's the first thing I did, uh, when I, when I got my GE back after Rexer from scratch, with just 20,000 sharks, insta-buy, let's do that. Uh, so yeah, that's my food tab. Here are all my superior scrimshaws. I've got, I think, all the good ones, all the useful ones. Uh, I made them all in my ports. Uh, I have a ton of resources in my ports, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be good on scrimshaws for the rest of time. Uh, next I got Yaks, Yaks Rolls, all that obvious stuff, and then here are my potions, and these are like the only potions I actually use. So I got Prey Pots, obviously, uh, Super Antifires, Bright Fires, Worm Fires, uh, Supreme Overloads, Super Prey Renewals, Holy Overloads, uh, good amount of Restores, Flasks, and then these are my favorite potions in the entire game, the Replenishment Potions. They are absolutely blessed AF, they're the greatest things of all time, I cannot do any PVM without them. Uh, just, I love having an Adren Potion every time I ulti, every time I Death Swift, it's always Vigor Switch, and then Replenishment Potion, love it. And the last thing here is I've got almost 500 Brew Flasks. Uh, obviously, I don't have that many potions, and I'm gonna get way more, because obviously I've got a lot of money now. Uh, so yeah, at some point I want to get like at least 500 Holy Overloads. Uh, these I mostly just use for PKing the Supremes, but, uh, depends on what I'm doing. Like, if I'm doing Yakamaru or Virago, I might bring the Supremes as well. Uh, but yeah, that's my potion tab. Uh, into the next tab, these are just like random off-dose potions. These are three doses of all the extremes for like when I need to make more overloads. Uh, nothing really interesting in this tab here. Okay, so the next tab here, uh, this is my loot tab. Uh, so these are just all the loots, partial loots, all the things I've done PVM-wise. Uh, so as you can see, I've got my four signets, I've got an Araxes web, an Araxes eye, and then a spider-like middle. I've got six Trisk keys, I'm just gonna keep collecting these because I never do elites, as you can see, that's been there for like months. Uh, but yeah, Crystal Weapon Seeds, and then these are just all the things I've looted in the last, basically, two days since Araxor from scratch ended. Uh, so these arrow bones might be an indication as to what I went and did. Uh, I tried raiding for the first time, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's my loot tab. There's nothing cool in it. It's not a big loot tab at this point because I've only had my account back for two days. Uh, and yeah, the last tab in my bank is the skilling tab. So as you can see, I've got 3,050 Silverhawk Feathers. That's like 70 mil worth. Uh, that's gonna be my 99 agility. I know, I know, people might hate me for Silverhawking it, but I, I kind of felt like on BXP, it's not that bad. 70 mil to never have to do another agility lap. I was like, you know what, let's do it. 
Uh, see, I got my augmented crystal hatchet. I'm 99 woodcutting, so I don't really use it much. Uh, these planks, I bought them for a friend of mine. Uh, a friend of mine, basically, he wants 120 construction. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm buying him the planks uh, and giving them to him, and then that basically forces him to train it, uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm basically funding his carpal tunnel. And um, then next, yeah, I just got my rune pouches, uh, some tool gizmos, uh, some equipment siphons, uh, my divination stuff, my full outfit, uh, just because I don't have 99 divination yet. I will show you guys my stats at the end of this video. I ran a kinship, fragments, these are just equipment dissolvers, gizmo dissolvers, all that stuff, corrupted ore. I hear all my charms, these are all because of racks from scratch, pretty much. I barely had any charms at the start of the series. And now I've got a lot, so you know, 120 some I might get at some point, uh, especially with all of these spirit gems I got down here. Uh, fishing urns, arctic bear pouches for hunter, and then the last item in my bank is 550 mil cash. That's, uh, that's all the cash I have on this account. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that basically concludes the bank video. That's, that's my whole bank. Uh, this organization took me like three hours, and it really feels bad, man, because as soon as I do any sort of PVM or anything, like, everything's gonna get messed up, uh, and it's just gonna hurt everything. Uh, I'm gonna feel horrible after that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it was worth, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, hopefully you guys have a sense of, uh, where the bank is at, and, uh, an update on the next series will be out in a couple days. I've already started working on it, uh, actually both of the next two series I've started working on, uh, and they will be happening simultaneously. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, thank you all so much for supporting my videos, I really do appreciate it, it means a lot to me. Uh, these are my stats by the way, check this out, I am 33k from 120 def, which is kinda cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting pretty close to max. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, thank you all so much for supporting my videos, I really do appreciate it. Have a great one, and peace out.